Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I am hopping in game with a weapon that has been one of the most requested weapons that I have seen on this channel in so long. So many of you are commenting, you gotta use this gun, you gotta use this gun. So here we go, let's go. All right, now, as I mentioned in the intro, this is one of the most requested weapons that I have had in quite some time here on the channel. It is the Renetti pistols, and you all have been telling me just how amazing these weapons have been inside of Modern Warfare Zombies here recently. Now, I don't know if any changes have been made to these Renetti since I tested them a long time ago, but let's see how they're doing here in season five. So many of you are just like, dude, the Renetti pistols, you got to use the Renetti pistols. Like the, the comments are constant. So, hey, here we go with your most requested weapon that I've ever had here on the channel. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the build up on screen that we're using for these Renetti pistols. Now, I am using the aftermarket part that doesn't seem to have a whole lot of disadvantages to it. But I'm going to head on down to this Pack-A-Punch machine downstairs. We're going to slap it so we can keep this nice hard iron camo. While we're headed down there, we're going to have a quick word from this video's paid sponsor, Messy Modding. They're a Call of Duty service company. They go in and unlock camos for you, including Interstellar and Borealis. They have pre-made accounts, nuke services, schematics, and more. Tons of reviews on Trustpilot. Use code COOL to save 5%. Use the link in the description down below. Now, I did just try to film this video once and something went wacky with this game and i just i couldn't shoot my gun i would shoot my gun and then everything would just start shaking and you couldn't fire the gun anymore maybe i'll throw up a clip or two of what was happening there but i lost another operator as a result of it honestly it was more so out of just anger i don't, I don't know I, I just left the game because uh just so incredibly frustrating some of these bugs that just don't get fixed here in modern warfare zombies and now i did put a I, I did put a red dot sight on this gun but of course it did not spawn in with a red dot sight so we're probably going to have to run this gun in tax stance and we're going to go ahead and throw on our legendary tool flawless crystal and i brought some perks with me now i also brought a brain rot mod because i didn't really have anything else to bring with me so that's what we did we're going to head on over and kill this mimic which is perfect because i have some brain rot now all i have left in my stash right now is four double pack a punch crystals that is it four double pack a punch crystals that's all i have left in my stash i have nothing left in my purchased i have I have literally nothing left. And if you saw the last game, you know, hey, we didn't come away with absolutely anything as far as loot is concerned. I'd come away with an Elder Sigil, but I lost that as well in the previous run. So I don't even have so much as an Elder Sigil to go into an Elder run. So we're going to have to get lucky and get a regular Sigil here. Let's grab this bounty. And then once we finish this contract, we should have enough to go pack a punch three with this and get to work inside of tier three. All right, we got this disciple down there. Let's hit a quick reload. I was hoping that those guys would go away, but they did not. We'll go ahead and get some damage onto this guy. Should be nice and quick. It's tier two and perfect. All right, what do we get out of here? Some juggernaut. We already have that. All right, let's go get this bad boy triple pack a punch and let's get to work. All right, let's go ahead and hit this. This guy's doing a contract there. That's no problem. Now, of course, this will give us a nice horde of zombies to really get a good feel for how good this Renetti is in season five of MWZ right now. I said this was a good gun back when I used it before, but it's probably been since like maybe season two. Here, buddy, let me help you out. Let me help you out, my friend. Okay, we got all of our inhibitors in place. Now we just need to go through and get the rest of them destroyed here. Actually, I think we got to destroy all of them, not just the rest of them. Oh my gosh, I need some speed cola, something fierce. Come on, Cole Whip. Let's go, buddy. You got to rock your way right through this. I'm going to run this thing in tax stands, like I said, because I don't have a red dot sight. So hopefully... Uh, one more. Okay, now before I do anything, now that we got that finished, I'm going to go over here and purchase some speed cola. I'm going to take my scorcher. That'll help me get over there, get a little bit of separation from me and the zombies there. Speed cola, perfect. 
Okay, now we're going to be able to reload a little bit faster. Not a whole lot faster. All right, here they come. Here they come. Oh, my. This thing is shredding through these things. Oh, not the reload. Anything but a reload. Oh, my gosh. I'd give anything for a mag of holding right now. I've had so many mag of holding recently that it's been... I feel like it's been a long time since I've even had to play a game without using a mag of holding. So this is uh, this is a different kind of experience here. Now, I know I just did one a couple of days ago, but then I got a couple more mag of holding and it was back to normal again. <laughs> I don't know. Let's throw that energy mine just in case something else comes along here that also helped kill that disciple. And let's take care of these two manglers. Oh, we made him a friendly, and then that guy is gone just like that. Let's get on up here and check this reward rift. Now, if you don't want to be like me, struggling to play by yourself in Modern Warfare Zombies, or you just want to stay up to date with the channel, make sure you check out our Discord. There is a link in the description down below. Okay, Tier 3 is Void of Contracts at the moment. So we're going to fly around, and I'll see you when we get one. All right, there's an Outlast contract here, which we made it to, so that's perfect. All right, let's get this PND activated and let's see what this Renetti pistol is capable of. Now, of course, it's going to be nice and easy taking out these zombies as they half their way right up these boxes. And if you, I mean, you, you already know, you already know that this is how you cheese these contracts. There is a player down over there. We will help him out as soon as our contract is done, as long as nobody else gets to him first. There we go. And we do got a friendly zombie down there that's helping us out a little bit. Uh, looks like, yeah, they already got that guy. Look at all, look at these people. See, the whole community isn't toxic. There's just, there's a few bad seeds out there. But, you know, for the most part, everybody is uh, pretty friendly inside of MWZ and more than willing to help you out and do, you know, help you with missions, join up teams, run six-man squads, do all of those things. Oh, man, the reload is terrible. It's so slow, and you only got 100 rounds. So definitely, this is a gun you're going to want to run with Mag of Holding 100%. I would not recommend running this without Mag of Holding. This is... It's usable, and it's doable. But I would definitely say Mag of Holding is the way to go. All right, we're at 95%. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy finished up. No! Oh, no! Oh, nuts and butter. All right, we'll burn a self-revive. Let's go to throw this energy mine down right there because we got a bunch of zombies coming right down at us. And look at that. We got our self-revive back. We got a sigil in there also. We're going to need that. I almost, honestly, almost forgot to pick it up because it's been a while. Let me get that bonus points. It's been a while since I've been able or been in need of a regular sigil. I have been having plenty of elder sigils on hand and we've been doing elder sigil runs for quite some time now. But I'm going to go down and do this stronghold down here. All right, we got this bounty contract first. So we got that and it's going to be a mega abomination, which is awesome. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on this stronghold before we go take care of that bounty. We just need it to spawn in. Oh, the mimics. Oh, no. Terrible timing. My COD timing continues into today. I've had some really bad COD timing here recently. There we go. All right. We're going to get rid of all of these spores just like so. Oh, those little nest crawlers. I hate nest crawlers. They are literally the worst. Those little things will just block you in doorways. You don't even see it coming. Oh, don't get don't get stuck on the stairs, Cool Whip. Oh, bunny, get outside. Get outside. There you go. There you go. Good job. All right. Shred these guys as they come through that door. There we go. Got to hit a quick reload, which is not real quick. Let's drop downstairs. Oh, Cool Whip. Come on, buddy. Come on. You've taken out those spores. You got a couple more on your back. Okay. Back up to the top here. Get rid of this disciple. And there we go. He's done. Oh, they're just beating all on us. We got to throw the plates on. We don't have any golden armor. Get rid of this one in the cor Oh, come on. Okay. Get mask on or mask off, Cole Whip. Make up your mind. Oh, slow, slow reload. Not a nest crawler. Oh, he's going to get us killed. That guy's going to get us killed. 
All right, cool whip. Let's go. Oh my gosh, there's so many zombie spawns in this one. Get rid of those guys. Couple more over here. I think we just got this room to finish off. Energy mine. I needed to go off. There we go. Oh my word. Let's take care of that one, this one, and that one, and that should be it. There we go, finally. That was a lot more stressful than I honestly care to admit to. All right, a couple of self-revives there. We will take that for sure. Turret circuit, I'll take that. Another self-revive. There we go. All right, perfect. So we got a bunch of self-revives, which is awesome because, hey, I like self-revives, and sometimes I go down a lot. All right, let's go take care of our bounty mega abomination. All right, let's land right up on top of here and maybe that will force him. There we go, force those laser attacks. And we do have some brain rot, so that is going to help our situation here. Let's get to the top of here. Come on, buddy, you want to laser me up here? Um, They're gonna throw meat at me. They're snipers with the meat. Oh no, pay attention to me. Not, not the doggo over there. Look at me. Hey, I can do tricks. You want to see my new trick? Look at that. Look at that. What a jump that was, huh? Huh? You like that jump? Oh, look at that. Two heads gone out of that bad boy already. Get a couple more criticals there as he's showing us the eye. And he's really focused in on this other guy's dog right now. Let's take care of some of these zombies around here while we're waiting on the mega to either kill that dog or just come pay attention to us again come on let's go come on cool whip hit those criticals there you go oh my gosh that is that is our all right another self revive sweet let's see what did we have in there for a perk and eh, it was some dead shot all right we don't need that so here is what I'm going to do from here. There's 27 minutes left in this match. I absolutely need to find a way to get some loot for my stash. So I'm going to run contracts for the rest of this match, and I'm going to catch up with you all in the Dark Ether. Now, of course, if anything interesting happens along the way, I will be glad to include you. Let's go! Finally, finally, a good piece of loot. What? No, well, not another one. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. All right, so there's only a minute and a half left in the game. Now, I showed you already that we got two legendary tools out of the rewards here, and that is so insane. It's been a while since I've gotten two legendary tools in a single match of Modern Warfare Zombies, but we got some Casimirs loaded up and that's really all we came away with. And I'm gonna go ahead and head on in here. I'll see you momentarily. All right, look at that. We got a free perk, and but we have our other perks. So after playing an entire match with this gun, an entire game of Modern Warfare Zombies, I do have some thoughts that I want to share while we work our way through this dark ether. So for number one, as I mentioned, this gun is probably best with Mag of Holding. And after using it the entire game, I would suggest that you do not use this weapon without a Mag of Holding equipped on it because the reload is very slow. The ammo capacity is not very high and you will get yourself into some situations that you would rather not be in if you're having to reload all of the time because the mag size is so small now the damage is very very high and it will it will take out all of the hordes it destroys bosses mega abominations everything absolutely rips through everything on the map it is an amazing weapon definitely one of the top damage weapons in modern warfare zombies especially right now I mean, just look at it shred through that mega abomination right there. Like, we really don't need this junk suit. We're going to use it, but... Oh, man, we almost died trying to get into it. But I just want to get out of this dark ether as quickly as we can, and hopefully with some more really good loot. And ideally, 
I really need some more Elder Sigils. So, yeah, so there we go. Elder Sigil, that is perfect. That's what we needed. Um, nothing else, but that's okay. So, yeah, Mag of Holding is absolutely essential. Yeah, so a Mag of Holding is... Oh, no, what a bad bounce. Absolutely essential for this weapon. It is a... It's, it's a must-have, and that's really <laughs> unfortunate there that took such a bad bounce right off of that uh, sewer crate over there little teenage mutant ninja turtle poked its head out of there there you go comment teenage mutant ninja turtles down below if you've made it this far in the video i do appreciate each and every one of you that uh, comment on the videos that like and subscribe and this is also a, a good time for that as well if you've enjoyed the content no why am i getting why am i getting hit right here oh my gosh can I get a Casimir to work as intended here? It would be really awesome. Maybe that one will work. Oh my gosh. Um, I think we're down to our last self-revive now after a couple of unfortunately placed Casimirs. See if we can get this one in the right place. I think that one's good enough. I think that one will get the job done. There you go, Cole Whip. It's about time. My gosh. Let's see what we get inside of this rift right here and a vr11 in case i'm not taking it let's get up on top of here and get this final contract underway all right and just like that we made it through it got a little bit dicey there again oh look at that a flawless crystal baby let's go it definitely got a little bit dicey through there with not having a whole lot of ammo in your magazine for this weapon so biggest downside is the ammo capacity overall the slow reload but with a mag of holding hey i think you can pretty much solve most of those issues that you have with this weapon so i like i said multiple times now run it with a mag of holding and you will do just fine Let's see if we can get these open real quick before all of the... Uh, okay, get out of here, Cole. Get out of here. All right, we're going to go ahead and head off to Xfil. Thank you all so much for the recommendation for this weapon. I really did enjoy it. It was fun to use it again. My name is Cole Whip, and I'll see you in the next one.